What's the largest security market in the world? Well, we all know it's the U.S. Treasury market. Even larger than the stock markets in the volume. Uh, basically, they are over the counter, not very transparent. A lot of times you have to go into a bond dealer to find out the price of that bond, but it's becoming more and more transparent. There's a new website, several new websites, one of which is investinginbonds.com, where you can start to get some indication of uh, some of the price of these bonds. You can also see a limited number of government bonds uh, listed in the Wall Street Journal and also some corporate bonds, but those are very limited listings. So not very transparent yet, but we're getting there slowly over time. Here's an example of a corporate bond listing. This is Ford Motor Credit Company. And how do we read the individual columns? Well, that coupon is actually the coupon rate of 7%. So if it's a $1,000 bond, this one would pay you $70. Uh, the maturity, this one is already matured in 2013, so this one was probably issued in 1983, more than likely, if it's similar to uh, most corporate bonds. Uh, here's the last price, which is percent of $1,000. So that is stated in percent, 102.767, translates to more than a $1,000, so it is a premium bond. Latest yield is the most recent price divided into the coupon, which is on this one $70. Estimated spread is 217 basis points above the 10 year uh, U.S. Treasury note. And that indicates which one we're talking about the U.S. Treasury 10 year and the final column is the number of bonds issued in the day, and this is in thousands. So you have to add three zeros to that number. So a lot of bonds were issued in that day in that one security. On coupon payment, coupon rate is coupon payment divided by closing price. A very important uh, equation to know. Also, we want to compare that to the yield to maturity. The bid price is the price a dealer is willing to pay if you own that bond. The ask price is what the a dealer will take or require if you want to buy that bond. And the bid-ask spread is how the dealer makes money. They play the bid-ask spread, the difference between the bid price and the ask price. Now, here's an example of government bond reporting that appears in the Wall Street Journal. Again, a very limited, limited listing. Uh, you can get more of these if you go visit your bond dealer at a major investment bank. 8.000 again is the percent, eight percent coupon rate. That means if this were a thousand dollar government bond, it would pay you eighty dollars. The maturity date is next, and that is November, but not twenty first. It's November twenty twenty one. That means if this were a thirty year bond, this bond was probably issued in nineteen ninety one. Bonds have a kind of a strange uh, measuring stick, and that is in ticks. 132 and 23 ticks, or 23 30 seconds of a percent. You need to translate that into dollars. And you see that this is a premium bond selling for, or you're asking, you are asking if you want to sell this for more than $1,000. Same thing with the ask price, 132 and 24 30 seconds. Again, this is uh, the dealer's asking for more than $1,000 if you want to buy this bond. It's a premium bond. It's down 12 ticks or 12 30 seconds percent from yesterday, and it's yielding 5.14%. This is the yield to maturity. And this is why your bond that you're, you're looking to buy, this, that's why this bond that you're holding is a premium bond costing more than $1,000 because all other bonds in the market are paying uh, $51.40, 5.14%, while your bond is paying $80. So you want to buy this bond, you must pay me a premium for that bond.